Hey guys, you're watching Phone Arena's in-depth video review of the Samsung T249, which is available right now through T-Mobile. It sports a $9.99 on contract price, so it's a very inexpensive handset. It's very slim on features. It's a basic slider phone. So for those who are looking for an inexpensive and easy-to-use solution, this actually might fit your bill. In terms of design, the Samsung T249 doesn't scream anything appealing and it looks a little bit toyish. Um, it's constructed out of plastic all around the handset, so it does give you that cheap feel to it. But luckily though, the uh, sliding mechanism is pretty decent. It's not the snappiest out there, but it'll get the job done. On top of that, the choice of plastic definitely makes the handset feel relatively lightweight in the pockets. If you happen to have poor eyesight, you might want to look elsewhere just because the Samsung T249 packs a 1.8 inch display. It has a resolution of 176 by 220 pixels and support for 65,000 colors. And honestly, it's not the most detailed display, especially when you look at the text. They're a little bit hard to make out. And on top of that, the uh, colors are a little bit washed out looking and it does suffer for some poor viewing angles. Right below the display, you have your dedicated buttons. You got your soft keys, your send and end, the back of clear. You have a directional pad with the middle button here being the selection key, a very nice size. You open it up, it reveals the numeric keypad. And as you can tell, it's uh, flush to the surface, but they're evenly spaced. Um, and there's also plenty of feedback when you press down on them. On the left hand side, you have the volume rocker, nice size to it, the micro SD card slot. While on the right, you have the shutter key, you have also a micro USB port for charging and connecting to a computer. On the top, you have a lanyard spot. On the back, you have just a 1.3 megapixel camera with the speakerphone. And when you remove the back cover, it just gives you access to the battery and the SIM card slot. The interface in use with the Samsung T249 is pretty much your typical one found on other Samsung messaging phones like the uh, Gravity and even the uh, Comeback. There's very few personalization options such as the build change wallpapers. Aside from that, you'll have even the option to change the theme. But it's laid out in typical fashion. You have this carousel of icons. It's a very simple interface to use. And it works pretty well for most people and it doesn't really slow down and gets you into the most basic functions right away. Creating a text message is a simple procedure. You're just going to have to rely on the numeric keypad for all your text input, but you can enable T9 for a faster method of inputting text. This doesn't have the ability to uh, do emails, but you'll, do, you'll have an instant messenger application. It'll give you access to AIM, Windows Live Messenger, and even Yahoo Messenger. The 1.8 inch display on the T249 doesn't really make it conducive for web browsing and honestly the experience is anything but forgettable. First of all, it just had a hard time loading up our website and we did see it crash quite a few times. As you can tell, scrolling is also a pretty uh, monotonous uh, method so you might want to look elsewhere if you're going to be doing primarily web browsing. Again, there's nothing too fancy with the music player on the device. It's pretty much simple and straightforward. It'll give you information like the artist name and also the track title, and also has some on-screen functions associated with it. As far as the volume from the speakerphone, it did produce some decent tones, not the strongest out there, but luckily it didn't crackle at the loudest volume setting. Unfortunately, the resolution of the display limits the amount of videos or kinds of videos you're going to be able to play on the device. Unfortunately, they're all just too big for the ones that we had, so the only one we're able to load up is just one that we took with the device itself. So you might want to look elsewhere if you're going to plan on watching videos, but then again, it has a such small screen, you just might want to look elsewhere. You can basically cross this handset off your list just because the 1.3 megapixel camera on the handset doesn't do any justice in taking photos. As far as the uh, image quality is concerned, it has dull looking colors. On top of that, the quality wasn't that great. It's very soft in tone. Um, and on top of that, you're just going to need to hold the device steady in your hand when you're taking a shot because a lot of times it came out pretty fuzzy looking. Shooting videos doesn't get any better on the device just because it has a maximum shooting resolution of 176 by 144 so it's going to be very pixelated looking. On top of that, it's going to lack any fine details, so you might want to look elsewhere. Calling quality is a mixed bag on the handset just because our callers did say that our voice did sound clear and natural on their end. However, though, when we, on our end, the earpiece did produce some crackly sounding voices. When it switched to using the speakerphone, we did experience the same thing with those crackly voices, but thankfully it's still loud enough to make out uh, voices. As far as uh, signal strength is concerned, we managed to retain a solid connection to the network. Unfortunately, we did experience a few drop calls during our testing. And finally, the best thing about the handset has to be its battery life. We managed to get 10 hours of talk time before it dropped a single bar, so it's pretty impressive. 
Granted though, the Samsung T249 might suit the needs of individuals out there looking for a basic and simple phone just for uh, making phone calls. But when you compare this to some other similar offerings on T-Mobile's lineup, specifically some messaging phones that are priced pretty much the same, you're just going to get a little bit more features out of them. It doesn't have the best quality in terms of uh, looks or even design. It gets the job done in some aspects, but we definitely recommend some other solutions over this one. So if you'd like to learn more about the Samsung T249 or for all the latest cell phone reviews, news, specs, and information, you can check us out at phonearena.com.